Mr. Simpson wants to display the data in an attractive format for end users and as a graphical interface. To create a dashboard, he clicks on the Dashboard tab and switches from the View mode to Configuration. Now, Mr. Simpson can create a new dashboard via the Create Dashboard button. He names this dashboard Machine underscore zero one. To display values on this dashboard, Mr. Simpson must add so-called widgets. He does this by clicking on the plus button and selecting the appropriate widget. The simplest widget is the table widget. He selects the table widget and gives this the name value. The newly created table is still empty. By clicking on the pin, Mr. Simpson can edit the table and add an entry. Homer Simpson wants to display the temperature. To do this, he adds a row with text to the table. In the drop-down menu, he selects the temperature variable. So far, he has only registered one machine and therefore selects the only one available. From the variables for this machine, he now selects the temperature variable. He clicks on the check mark to confirm his entry. The temperature of machine one is now shown on the dashboard. Mr. Simpson can add additional widgets to the dashboard. This time he chooses the gauge. The newly created gauge does not yet have information, such as a scale or values. Using the pin icon, Homer Simpson can edit the element. He creates the display range from 0 to 60 degrees Celsius. He also selects his machine 1 and its temperature variable again. The gauge is already configured enough and now displays the current temperature value. For a better view, Mr. Simpson wants to add the individual temperature ranges with color ranges. To do this, he clicks on the pin again and then Add Color Ranges. In this case, he specifies blue for 0 up to 20, green for 20 up to 25, yellow for 25 up to 30, and red for 30 up to 60 degrees. He can add as many colors as required here. Values can also be shown as a trend. For this, Mr. Simpson adds a new widget and selects the diagram. The diagram is initially empty, as it has not yet been configured. He wants to display the last hour. The value needs to be updated every five seconds. If the limit value of the y-axis is not configured, it is scaled automatically according to the values to be shown. He selects degrees Celsius as the unit here. Mr. Simpson activates the data navigator. We will see in a moment what this enables. He can add as many data rows as required using the plus button. He names the row temperature, selects the color yellow and the temperature variable from machine 01. The temperature curve for the last hour is now displayed. It is now clear that the temperature is increasing. Mr. Simpson wants to view the fluctuation in more detail and zooms in the display. The data navigator enables him to limit the time range to investigate temperature fluctuations in more detail. After the investigation, he enlarges the display time window again to view the complete curve for the last hour. Mr. Simpson monitors machines at several sites. Some of these machines are mobile. Therefore, he wants to show the current position of the machines. He is able to do this with the Maps widget, which he adds to his dashboard in the same way as before, using the plus button. Mr. Simpson configures the map inside the Maps widget by clicking on the pin. By entering the coordinates of the map center and the zoom factor, he determines the map section that is shown on the dashboard by default. Mr. Simpson can add individual flags to the map using the plus button. He adds Machine 1. He selects a status variable. This causes whether the flag is green online or red offline. 
fixed coordinates can be used as coordinates, for example, 52 degrees and 7 degrees. If the machine has a GPS sensor, variables can be selected in place of fixed values. When using a TCG20 with cell phone modem, it is also possible to determine the position via GPS. A detailed explanation is provided in the Turk Cloud hardware training. The arrow is still gray because Mr. Simpson is in the configuration mode. If he switches to the view mode, the flag will show in green because the machine is currently online. If it is offline, the flag will show in red. In the future, Mr. Simpson can add as many additional flags as required to the MAPS widget if his company has built additional machines. As the final element, Mr. Simpson configures another bar graph. He adds the widget of type tank. He enters a minimum value and maximum value, as well as the unit degrees Celsius. He selects the temperature variable for machine 1, and he defines the color ranges the same as before. In the event of temperature changes, the bar will change color. The individual widgets can be positioned in any order on the dashboard. The Turk Cloud Portal adapts the display to the device screen resolution, such as monitors, tablets, and cellular phones. So far, Mr. Simpson has only created items for monitoring the machine. However, he can also control the machine via the cloud. Mr. Simpson wants to control the RGB lamp on the machine via a button. To do this, he must create a switch. He does this by incorporating a table widget with the title lamp on his dashboard. He adds the true-false button element to this table in the same way as he previously added the text. He names it red and links it with variables for the K50 lamp from machine 1. This is channel 0 as red. To have the right to operate the switch on the dashboard, he must place a check mark by action. He repeats this process for green and blue. He uses the RGB version of the tower light and can therefore create seven different colors with the three switches. He can also control a motor or an entire machine from the cloud in the same way.